Hey everybody, it's Carissa Brown here. I'm an independent distributor with Gel Moment, and today I'm going to show you how to do a puzzle piece on a nail stick. So I've got my striper brush here, and I have my dotting tool ready. I've already painted Lovey Dovey on my nail stick two coats, and I've got Raven's Kiss to use as well, which I've already painted a blob there on my silicon mat. So first thing I'm going to do is paint my lines on my nail stick. Um, I do want to paint these very thin and obviously I want to try and get them as uniform in size as I can. By painting them thin, this ensures nice crisp puzzle pieces later on when you're filling them in. Once I've got those horizontal lines, I do give it a quick cure before I go onto my vertical lines or vice versa, whichever, one, whichever you want to start with. So once I've done these lines, again, I'm going to give it a nice quick flash cure. So now that that's finished, I'm going to grab a little bit more of Raven's Kiss, grab my dotting tool, and I want to fill in the most, the square that I did, probably the most messy on the inside with my color so that it just keeps those lines nice and crisp as well. So I've picked that one to start with. And now I'm just taking my striper brush and just really defining that edge line nicely. Once I have those crisp lines on the outside of, of that square, I'm going to give it a quick cure. So same thing, I'm going to take the next blocks and I'm just going to start with that dotting tool and then define it again on the edge. I'll do a couple each time now and then I'll cure it. So now that it's all cured, I'm going to start working on my puzzle pieces to make them look like the actual piece. So I'm going to take the dotting tool and I'm going to use whichever size um, is most applicable to my pieces. So I'm just taking a small little daub of paint, popping it on, and I'm going in whatever sort of puzzle piece that I want to make it look. Do, do one here. going to do one there, just like your puzzle pieces would be. And then I'm gonna cure it. After that, I'm gonna grab my white. And same thing, I'm just gonna go wherever I want to and put a dab of the white on. That, the white will need another coat. So I will cure this first coat of white, white little dots, and then I'll go back in again with another, another coat. And you'll notice when you're doing it here and there, you might miss one. So now I'm just going to do that second coat again, and I will give it a cure. Now I can see that I've missed one. So now I can just grab some black paint, black polish, sorry, and pop it in. Now, once I've cured that, I'm going to put one coat of Clearly Frisky on there, obviously to remove any of that, the dots that you can feel and it'll just smooth it out and protect it. So that's it. It's all finished. Hope you guys like it. If you have any questions, let me know.